Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old school feel about it. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Belgium. was impressive, match that. Plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So we're up and running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. He's just one of the best strikers of the ball you'll ever see. And that applies just as much to his passing game as it does to his shooting prowess. He generally likes to keep things simple, taking as few touches as possible, but making every one of them count. I've got a feeling he's going to be a real handful for the opposition here. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Tielemans. Tielemans clips one through. Shot a goal! Could fall kindly. Goal! Belgium! Rui Patricio reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, look. Regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. And it's Bernardo Silva. Cristiano Ronaldo! Again, let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. Well positioned to make that in. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, wow! An absolute pile driver! He's got himself a peach of a goal! Portugal a level! Oh my goodness, that has ripped the rigging! Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and his power is assured, and he goalkeepers up against it.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Torkan Azar. Bernardo Silva. Decent looking ball. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Goes for goal! Goal! Portugal! And the comeback is complete! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Portugal go into the lead. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. We sit high. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Ruben Dias. Portugal are in control here on the brink of half time. Bruno Fernandes. Guerrero. Jean Moutinho. It's come loose. <laughs> Vertonghen. Torgan Azar. Azar. Gets it back. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. Jean Moutinho battles to win it back. And the rich half time. Portugal come roaring back in quite some style. We've got a very different game now. And we are from here. It's anyone's guess. Portugal leading by one in a finely poised game. It is intriguing to watch and could easily go either way. So we're already into the second period. And De Bruyne! Belgium have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Gets up to head it! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Tielemans. Vertonghen. Azar. And here's Mertens. Jean Moutinho, he wasn't very far from making something happen by himself, lovely to see. Cristiano Ronaldo, it's a great, he's had a goal! De Bruyne. Vertonghen. Witzel. Tielemans plays it forward quickly. Hazard. He's got away. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Alderweireld. Vertonghen tries to get it forward quickly. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Xiao Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes. Big chance! They scored! And surely that does it! Perfect time! Decisive strike! Portugal are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. <laughs> 
So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. So the, the lead time now is, is 12 o'clock p.m. Played out to the right. In with a header! Oh, just needed a better contact. He simply mistimed the header, and it was as if he knew it wasn't going to work out. Belgium making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. And it's Azar. Talking Azar. He's looked long this time. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental is spent. That is some win. If you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim. Portugal certainly produced a, a lovely blend of flair and industry to earn a result that was fully...